Hello and welcome to my health multimedia presentation for ED2190. My name is Christina Dye and the health resource that I have chosen to critique today is called Smash Your Food, which is an interactive game that is available on the App Store. The strand from the HPE learning area of the Australian curriculum that aligns with the use of this resource is personal, social and community health. The goal of the selected substrand is to encourage students to lead a healthy, safe and active life. Smash Your Food is developmentally appropriate for students in grades 3 and 4. At these year levels, HBE teachers need to assist students to examine their own eating patterns and identify healthier food choices. Smash Your Food could be used to achieve part of the content description, however teachers need to view the resource with a critical lens. So let's take a look at how Smash Your Food works. Whoa, look at this machine! It can tell you how much sugar, salt and oil is in your food. But you have to guess first. To guess the right amount, there are three dials at the bottom you could spin with your finger. Let's start with sugar. It's the blue dial on the left. How many sugar cubes do you think there are in a can of cola? Hmm. Now I'll give you a hint. In one can of cola, there are 33 grams of sugar. How do I know that? Easy! Just tap the information button on the right of the food. And bingo! Nutrition facts! With this, you can guess every food perfect. Just find the sugar line and see how many grams there are. Then all you have to do is divide it by four. Just going to skip ahead a little bit to the smashing. And then wow, you can see what happens at the sugar end. Of the it's a perfect guess. Congratulations. You've earned six stars. Okay. So now you've seen how Smash Your Food works. Um, I've chosen to critique Smash Your Food based on two of the five propositions outlined in the Australian curriculum the HPE section. So the first one I'm going to be critiquing it on is based on the focus on educative purposes. So Smash Your Food is a developmentally appropriate resource to use with grade 3 and 4 students. Deve developers claim that it's designed for children aged 5 to 12, but I believe that the mathematical skills required to accurately calculate the amounts of sugar, sodium and oil in the foods are attained by the age that I chose. Unfortunately, learning is not made explicit in this resource. Although it incorporates some of the main elements of nutrition, including identifying healthy and unhealthy foods, reading nutritional information, and calculating amounts of ingredients, the learning outcomes are not clearly stated. Disciplinary knowledge that is developed through the use of this app can be linked to nutrition. These include concepts such as nutritional information, sugar, sodium, and oil, but these are introduced and not fully developed. According to the Australian curriculum, a resource with a focus on educative purpose should provide learning opportunities for students to practice, create, apply and evaluate understanding and skills. This resource will allow children to practice some nutrition-based skills, however it fails to provide an opportunity to create, apply or out evaluate these skills. Therefore, Smash Your Food does not have a very strong focus on educative purposes. So the second proposition I chose to look at was develop health literacy. I believe that Smash Your Food successfully promotes understanding of health information and maintenance of health and well-being, which aligns with the proposition. However, it does not develop knowledge, understanding and skills across all three levels of health literacy, particularly the functional dimension. This dimension requires research and application of knowledge and services to respond to health-related questions. This resource does, however, touch on the interactive dimension, which involves actively and independently engaging with a health issue. I believe that this health resource would be most effectively used to develop the critical dimension of health literacy. To do so, Students need to access and critically analyse health information from a variety of sources in order to promote health and well-being of themselves or others. In order to achieve a wider perspective on this health resource, I shared Smash Your Food with a nine-year-old girl 
a parent and a peer. The child that I questioned thoroughly enjoyed the game, which kept her engaged for about 20 minutes. She enjoyed smashing the food and was excited when she correctly guessed the amount of ingredients inside the food. However, she did struggle to calculate the answers for some of the more difficult foods. The parent that I spoke with thought that the game would really appeal to kids but couldn't really see the educative value in it. She agreed that it included some valuable nutritional knowledge but it failed to fully communicate it to the children. She also had concerns about the resource not suiting different students' diversity and she gave the example of our own son who requires a high fat and high calorie diet in order to remain healthy. The peer that I shared the game with thought that it would be fun for children, however she also questioned the educative purpose of it. In conclusion, Smash Your Food is an interactive and engaging resource that could be used in a classroom setting. It aligns with the personal, social and community health strand and being healthy, safe and active substrand of the HBA curriculum. It has somewhat of a focus on educative purpose and develops health literacy on an interactive level. Thank you for watching my presentation.